Oh, crap. Not another Star Wars prequel. No, no. This is a mascot serial. I think Gene Autry plays the rally monkey? Oh, Betsy King Ross. She sewed that flag for that guy. Uh, George Queen Washington. That's the one. Herman Schaefer, the beer that comes in a little yellow box. Oh, it's a Woody Allen of beers. Hey, stop that. Going down. have to know which floor for housewares, would you? Gene Autry has insisted his name be listed in white credits on a white background. Also, he wants white m ms in his dressing room and will only ride a white horse. Oh, great. Now I know Gene Autry survived last week's cave explosion. Yeah, how about a spoiler alert there, mascot cereal? Seriously. Ah, so there's that thing. You know, say what you will about that goofy skyline, but they get great UHF reception. Mommy, what's beneath the earth? Australia, honey. Proud Murania, bone cancer capital of the underworld. Uh, what's he want radium for, anyway? He's discovered it has secret mustache-enhancing properties. I heard that Joe Morgan shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. <laughs> nice try. Ooh, last time I was in London, I had the Queen Tikka Morania. It's really tasty. Very good. Betsy and Frankie, seen here playing the 1930s version of Mario Kart Wii. What, what kind of sound effect do you make with gunpowder? The sound of Frankie screaming like a girl as his head bursts into flames. Oh. Remember, kids, that's Foley from the Latin for burn victim. I did not know that. Hey, the door was open, you lunkheads. Did they used to issue you a pith helmet along with an advanced degree? They're gone. They're taking their equipment. Uh, hey, I wonder what these wires here do. Oh god, the horror! <laughs> there are pizza rolls in here. <laughs> They've disappeared in the thin air. I think Betsy must have taken Gene out to our secret passage. The outer door is locked! What? I locked it! They'll be blown to pieces. We'll have to rescue them. No horse is safe from the surprise mounting tactics of the Buckethead Brigade. <laughs> You know, sometimes I think you boys get Gene in trouble just so you can rescue him. No, no, they're headed for near certain momentary blindness! Whoa. That little dollop of soft serve on their helmets doesn't seem very aerodynamic. Phew, thank goodness that was one of those slow-moving explosions. Well, the Thunder Riders sure came to the rescue that time. Well, them That's and the happened. temporary we'll suspension of the laws of We've physics. We've got to find some way to make our broadcast tomorrow. If we don't, Gene will lose his contract. And we will lose Radio Red. What about our secret clubhouse in Thunder Canyon? Good, but how will we get the equipment there? Leave that to the Thunder Riders Club. The trick now is to get you away from those scientists. They'll be really pissed about what you did to physics. There, fellas. They spotted you already. Come on. Well, that was the most useless secret escape ever. He's a wonder for murder. We can't let him escape. I'll call the sheriff. But I will not call his deputy. Offers a fugitive from justice. I don't think anyone would blame us if he were to be shot. To, to the, the murder! murder! To the murder! This episode brought to you by the American Horse Association. Have you ridden a horse? Lately. Very nice. Lead him past those horses. I'll drop Have off. You? Uh, are we beneath the earth yet? No, no, they're still above ground. This title is completely misleading. I demand my public domain money back. Well, I knew this quick release saddle would come in handy. Let's 
Hey, these invisibility trees are mighty useful. All three of those kids could have disappeared is beyond me. They must have ducked down gopher holes. Hello. 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 Hey. Oh, it's the classic lay down on the ground or hide in a tree strategy. Man, kids have been duping scientists with that one for centuries. Oh, those guys tapping the coconuts must be getting tired. I hereby call to something about Mary Fan to Club to talk. order. We want to show them that we really know how to run a club. Anyone violating Robert's rules of order will be debucketed. Oh no. Welcome, travelers. To a meeting of the Junior wow. Thunderriders. Adam club. Sandler really knows how to rock an ascot. Great emergency. Gentlemen, the honor and integrity of our club is at stake. We have a mission to perform. And without the assistance of you two intelligent gentlemen, huh. it is doomed to failure. I don't like these odds. Will you take an oath of secrecy? Well, where do you want us to take it? Shut up. He means we've got to swear. No, I think it's very forward thinking that they put a gay couple in this movie. Who are in mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Our motto is to the rescue. Now we must help our friend Gene make his next broadcast. <laughs> we want you to take the broadcasting equipment to the secret clubhouse in Thunder Canyon. Will you do it? Sure, Frankie. Good. Why didn't you say that's what you want? No, now, first, will there be we'll rabbits the at the clubhouse, the George? The the clubhouse. And then... Wait, wait! I want to know the plan yeah. now! Damn you, fade to black! Let's see, a percolator, balsa wood mixing board, the candlestick Professor Plum used to kill Mr. Body. Yep, everything a radio broadcaster needs. Oscar? Where are you? Ah, Here it's I am. episode five, Beneath the Skirt. Well, what are you doing? Just peeing in character. I'm disguising myself. Here's yours. Put them on. Oh, I'm tired of being ginger. Just once I want to be Mary Ann. Well, put them on. They told us to keep it a secret, didn't they? Yeah, but maybe they... Maybe nothing. How are we going to be a secret if we ain't a secret? i put them on. Uh, Gretchen Mark's called. You stole his worst mustache. Yeah, you can keep it. I am the queen Friends of Radio, of Land, Radio this is awesome. Land. That's feet. <laughs> The yodeling transvestite really broke new ground in radio. Yeah, Oscar learned the art of broadcasting from his Fisher Price CNC. That is it. I'm a getting on this cart, and I ain't getting off till I find a damn phantom or a damn empire. Hold on, I'm wearing heels, huh? Oh, 25,000 feet? That's through the core and out the other side. Is Mirania China? You know, that would explain the factory. <sighs> when in Mirania, visit the Hypnodiscarium. You will visit it. Visit it now. Naughty. Yes, Your Majesty. The owner of the California Angels. Get me headquarters of the Royal Thunder Guard. Get it yourself, lady. Once You're not the boss of me. Washington, Who's wearing the big hat here? Broadcast. Radio Ranch will become deserted. From this angle, she looks more like Queen Taco Salad. Hey, she's watching Your the Majesty. same thing we are. No wonder she's in such a bad mood. He is now at a shack in Thunder Canyon. Lead your riders there and capture him. Remember, if you fail, you peril Murania, and your life becomes forfeit. This Do is the understand? worst eye chat session ever. Yes, Your Majesty. Just a minute, Lieutenant, and you'll see the exact location of the shack. Where you can buy watch batteries and speaker the wire. To the Thunder Guard screen. Ah, yes, I know precisely where that completely Majesty. nondescript patch of scrub is located. Alert! Good meeting, Jim. Well, that's all thanks to Toastmasters, Tom. Oh, cool! I would totally want a door that looks like a rock someday. What would you do with it? What couldn't I do with it? Tree, singing to pass the time, just like Radio Cowboys did in the olden days out on the plains. Was the radio equipment? Pete and Oscar are bringing it up. Pete and Oscar? Yeah, we made them honorary members of our club. Yeah, the Elks Lodge oh. made that same mistake. They're all dead now. It's the Thunder Riders. <laughs> huh, I guess they were in stealth mode until they got 50 feet from the shack.
It is I, called Thundula. They're coming in. Get in there and hide. Ooh, that's a great strategy. Trained soldiers never think to look in a cupboard. I guess our reports that the surface was populated only by dinosaurs were inaccurate! Hmm, locked tight. Yeah, good thing he brought his giant metallic penis. <laughs> That's giant metallic penis of fire to you. Meanwhile, back in the liberal state of Massachusetts, no clouds. Yeah, but that was thunder. Sure don't smell like thunder. Well, when I hear thunder, I extend a lightning rod and play my harmonica. It's just how God made me. Doesn't he know, in a cross-dressing relationship, there's always a second harmonica? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Now for a graphic illustration of where this plot is heading. Gentlemen, this is the worst game the of polo writers. I have ever been involved this with. This might mean trouble. We better go back. Just when we have us in the palm of our hand? No. Uh, did that lady in that wagon seem kind of manly to you? Anybody? Anybody? No? Oh, well spotted. If your erection lasts more than four hours or results in flames, consult a doctor immediately. Excuse me, sir. I'm selling these flame-throwing dildo-proof locks. And I'll take a cursory glance around, and that's it. Uh, now I'll go. This is how they taught me to fight radio school! I hope he doesn't expect us to help. Whew! Locked in. Nope, uh, definitely stuck. David Eckstein is highly overrated statistically. No, scrappy, scrappy. Nope, sorry, sorry. A little nipple rub and I lose all control of this thing. Time out. Sneeze coming. Hey, I said time out. You pull, you pull on the, you, oh, forget it. Quick, help me change clothes with this fella. It's the only way to save you from the effort. They're coming back. Or someone's rolling a million marbles down the hill. I'll lead them away and come back after you later. Long after the authorities have found you with this guy's corpse. <laughs> Don't let him get away. Make sure and tie him up loosely and ineffectually. Lousy service bartender telling me to go home. I'll show him where I'm with. Where is Gene Autry? He escaped. Hey, he ran off with the sound Assist engineer. the lieutenant. The queen would be very disappointed if he should not return for his punishment. Queen? Punishment? Sign me up. Has uh, anybody seen my hat? Where the hell did I put my hat? <laughs> Engage sound effects. What if Dean couldn't get away? Then we never then have, have to, to watch episode six. Come on, we better get back and watch our prisoner. Don't want to miss the moment when he loses control of his bowels. He's gone! Whoa, whoa, does he need the mask to breathe or not? Oh, maybe it's just a fashion statement. Oh, hey, hey, there's your rock door. Johnny Cashbox, engage! See how awesome the rock door is? But if you get one, will it come with a robot cowboy? That's a stupid question. 
I do not blame you, Lieutenant Paul, for trying to escape the fate that awaits you. <laughs> Lieutenant Paul? Good man! Was he absent the day they handed out stupid buried city names? Shinatri's amazing plan of being helplessly trapped is going off like clockwork. <laughs> the Queen desires your presence at once, sir. Meanwhile, a paycheck speeds rapidly towards a bank teller. 2,000 feet per second. You know, at that speed, gravity just throws up its hands. Won't you take off your helmet and get a breath of real air? Disgrace does not care to show his face. No, Disgrace just does not care to smell the chalupa you had for lunch. Oh, now we get to visit the homeland of the Keebler Elves. Robot cowboy coming through. Don't mind me. Gotta get that cardboard oiled. <laughs> Must have paid a fortune for that map painting because they're showing it like every five seconds. Clear the way, an officer of the Royal Guard. So if this is a representative sampling, Muranian society is roughly 80% conehead, 20% Jesuit nun. The Honorable Chuck Barris presiding. Prisoner of the realm, under guard. Ow! Stupid salute. You know, this movie is much better if you imagine that it's got the Marx Brothers in it, and she is Margaret Dumont. You dare to wear your oxygen helmet in my presence? Yes, but I... Off with his helmet! Hey, I like my helmet. It's where I keep my brains. Speaking of brains, you seem to have a shortage down here. Also, your soldiers aren't very tall. Jean Autry, a surface man in Muranium. I listen to your songs in bed. Welcome. How do you like our world? Well, <laughs> Will Wheaton is I Gene think the Autry. dampness and dead air of your land is more suited to rats than mold. Plus, your yes? whole kingdom kind of smells like you feet. You interest me. Go on. My business is singing. I sing about horses and sunshine and the plains. Pickup trucks. <laughs> well, guns. how can anybody sing about those things here? Kind of makes you feel good to sing, you know. You are indeed a brave man. Now let us see whether you are also a wise one. Lady, you've been watching him longer than we have. Surely you know the answer to that. Eddie. Wow, Lady Gaga Bot has a really Come good at ease me. algorithm. You see, this is where we make WD 40 oil. Well, now I see the coarse light neon sign, I do feel more at home. You have referred to your sunlight and flames. Now let me prove that they are not all that is worthwhile. You may start. Lawrence, fire up the spin out vision. Radium resistance elevation. Do you have that in your surface world? Maybe a resistance elevation. Me, 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 me. Lord, in Uranium, I am so for all tired. Our My subjects devote their time to thought, to advancing their minds. We have no time to waste on gently tapping bricks with sledgehammers. Spare some radium, your eyes. sir. So just, a, just a little bit of radium, world. just a nice isotope too. We have none too. of that here. Thanks, sir. Thanks. Sir. These are, are annoying sidekicks. We don't have those bigger. in our world either. Well, I guess we better go back to Radio Ranch and see if we can find out anything with our direction finder in the laboratory. Frankie, Betsy. That's right. Speak to them. Ah, oh, the radio monkey's never seen a TV scope before. The death chamber. There's where you'll be in five minutes. Can I go there now? It's still being cleaned. You are the first surface man to invade our empire, and your knowledge of uranium must die with you. Take him away. I may die soon, but radium is radioactive, which means your incidence of cancer will be much higher, and you'll all be dead very slowly later, so ha, who gets the last laugh now, huh? My dear Argo, you may personally build up the voltage. You honor me. Yeah, you damn well better. I am Pope with this joint. Take a step forward. Now take a step back. Now take a step forward and a step back, and now we're cha-chaing. The prisoner is in the death chamber. All is prepared. Build up 200,000 volts for the chamber of death. Whoa, whoa, is it death chamber or chamber of death? I mean, I think death chamber is a little more menacing, don't you? Oh, yeah, definitely. Sure. Execute. 
By which I mean execute Jean Autre. Well, uh, he's dead. Goodbye, kids. Oh, so this wasn't the disaster? That's not till next week? 